All right, let's look at some error cards. Let's look at some ProSet 1990 error cards. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, whenever I get any cards and any of them are like from the ProSet 1990 collection, I always, you know, go online right away afterward and check to see if I got any of the the error variants of any of these, any of the goofy kind of mistakes that they made because a lot of these cards there's more than one version like they'd get something wrong or something would change and they'd update it um and this jesse tuggle card you know they spelled you know jesse wrong the first time j-e-s-s-e instead of you know i-e um or like this ozzy newsome i just got not that long ago where they've got like the wrong birthplace on the back he sees from you see, it's wrong. It's actually Mushels Shoals, Alabama, and they eventually corrected that and issued a new version of this. Um, yeah, this Chris Dolman's an interesting one. You know, Chris Dolman, as it says at the top, he you know led the NFL in in sacks. Um, is that making it hard to see? Take the damn plastic off of them. Okay, yeah, that's sort of better. Chris Dolman. And yeah, what they've got on the on the back, they've got a a list of the NFL's top ten active sack leaders. Um sacks and career, that is, you know. Um, and they put, you know, Lawrence Taylor is number one on that list. And he is, they have him with 104, which is wrong. It's actually four and a half, which they eventually corrected. You know, don't want to, <laughs> don't want to take half of one of, uh, Lawrence Taylor's hundred. 40 and a half sacks away from him. Don't wanna don't wanna make that guy mad. Um but they've also got, you know, Greg Townsend is also one of the names on that top ten list, but um spelled it wrong, put a T instead of a D at the end. Got Greg Townsend. Greg Townsend instead of Townsend. Uh, so that was silly, but yeah, they eventually put out a new version of this to correct for those. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I don't have any like the super special ones. They don't get the the Dexter Manley version where they uh, accidentally mentioned the fact that he was suspended ten games for substance abuse and <laughs> then had to issue a new version where they mentioned that he only came back for the last six games of the season, but don't mention why he missed the first 10 or the uh, the Fred Marion card where, you know, um, it looks like John Taylor's wiener is hanging out. <laughs> but it's the funny thing about that collection is that, you know, those are the, the ones that became valuable. Like, you just take, like, the rookie junior Seau, you know, in that collection, you know, rookie card of a great end up going to the hall of fame and you know it probably wouldn't sell for more than a couple bucks because uh you know even though it's the type of card that generally sells for a lot it's well, a lot for a football card anyway it's uh you know because pros have just made so damn many of these things that uh it's not that hard to get one at this point um like you can probably still buy a hobby box with like 36 packs of these things and then it's not very expensive but you know the dexter manley the fred mary and they're selling those for like upwards of 40 bucks now so it's like the ones that the cards that really really transcended you know their moment they're the ones that happened by accident